The Rabbi is Dead is a garage punk, Jewish, punk rock album by bipolar outsider musician, Steve Lieberman, released right before his diagnosis of bone marrow cancer. It is Lieberman's 19th album, released on July 19, 2011 and the first record on which he included the six-string guitar. He was 53 years old at the time of release. Lieberman's longtime record label, New York Jewish indie label JDUB Records went out of business shortly after the release of The Rabbi Is Dead. The title of the album was not referring to Lieberman's own death as later works did, but the impending demise of the gangster rabbi character, who JDUB Records exclusively promoted Lieberman's music without regard to Steve Lieberman on May 27, 2012. The Rabbi Is Dead charted at number 4 on KZSU FM, making it Steve Lieberman's best charting album on college radio to date. Critical reception equals Dana Wright, Musica Views equals, just a year after giving Lieberman's 17th CD, Dictator 17 and one half star review, another writer from Musica Views describes The Rabbi Is Dead as unprofessional, and garbage as a play on words for the garage genre it falls into. Referring to the CD's vocals as screechy scalded cat voice, and someone being electrocuted, describing the guitar work as a hairbrush running over the strings and thrown against the wall with the garbled sound of death metal, but not as good. The writer also states that I can't think of an album I disliked more. This is the artist's 19th CD, Doesn't the World Have Enough Coasters? Rating 0.5 stars. Equals Wildy Haskell, Wildy's World equals. New York's reigning king of garage punk hits harder than ever. His insight into social, political and religious views is wonderfully skewed and yet always on the mark as always. The gangster rabbi is an underground revolution. The sound is fleshed out adding the six-string guitar to the usual bass, flute and drums adds more sonic density. I wish I could listen to a gangster rabbi record without a lyric sheet. Rating 3.0 slash 5.0 stars. Equals Ronda Redance, Revoo.com equals, The art of garage punk embraces the chaotic and reckless side of music. There is an air of abandon to The Rabbi Is Dead that will call out to music lovers familiar with the genre, but will frighten and offend those who aren't. A muddy sound, indistinguishable vocals and a hodgepodge of soundscapes are what define this album those who get the humorous garage punk offerings will flock to see Lieberman perform. Track Listing All songs written and composed by Steve Lieberman except where noted. Musical Personnel Steve Lieberman a Euro bass guitar, guitar, vocals, flutes, recorders, trombone, melodica, beat machines. Singles References all Music Guides Steve Lieberman The Gangster Rabbi The Rabbi Is Dead August 2011 Retrieved November 17, 2011 JDUB Records Closest Shop A Message from President and CEO Aaron Bisman July 2011 Retrieved November 17, 2011 KZSU Top 30 Airplay Chart for Week Ended May 27, 2012 May 2012 Retrieved May 31, 2012. Right, Dana. Steve Lieberman The Rabbi Is Dead Music of Use.com. Retrieved November 17, 2011. Haskell, Wildy. Steve Lieberman The Rabbi Is Dead Wildiceworld.com. Retrieved November 17, 2011. Redance, Rhonda. Steve Lieberman The Rabbi Is Dead Revoo.com. Retrieved November 17, 2011. Steve Lieberman The Gangster Rabbi Sound Click Music Page. January 10, 2013. Retrieved January 10, 2013. Steve Lieberman The Gangster Rabbi Sound Click Music Page. January 10, 2013. Retrieved January 10, 2013. External links, videos, plus size girls, on Octobass. Live 2011 on YouTube, what do I get? Slash going up live 102011 on YouTube.